Hello and welcome to my world of crochet. My name is Dina and today I'm here with you for another Ice Yarns haul video. And of course we can't talk yarn without talking a little bit of tea, which I do enjoy drinking when we talk about yarn and when I do uh, yarn and crafting related things. Um, in my tea mark today we have um, this um, local mixture from um, Ettling in Germany, which I was visiting last autumn. So it's a black tea with a flavor of uh, pineapple and lemon. But yeah, we are here for the yarn. And this is a lovely package that I received from ICE. And there is about five kilos of yarn in this package. And as we know, ICE, they do really pack their yarns extremely well and tight. So this is like really vacuum pack. It's it's very, yeah, it's quite solid. It's like almost like a brick. Um, but another good thing what I do like about ICE, even though they do not send in a cardboard box, is the fact that they do double wrap them. So um, they have this very very thick um, outer layer of plastic and then the yarns inside are boxed in plastic as well. Sometimes there is even sometimes three layers of plastic, which is um, nice in the sense of if the package anywhere gets damped, the yarn will not get harmed. Um, but of course, it's less good for the environment. What I do with all my plastic is I gather it in a bag for recycling so that still it's not like, it doesn't go into oceans and other sad things. Um, so, I'm just going to see if I can find where they actually close this parcel. It looks like it might be here. Maybe, I don't know. This is, um, normally it's easy to see on them, but this package, I don't know how they pack it, but it's not as easy to see as they often are. Um, what I do have is I have a small knife, which I use to help um, cut it. But I am very, very careful that I do not cut my yarn, of course. But if I don't simply have this, I will barely be able to, to open this parcel, which would be defeating the purpose of getting some yarn. We are getting there. Oh, this looks great. I'm just going to put that away. Hopefully I will need that for a bit. And then I am going to see if I somehow can place this next to me here. Simply because it's big and it's big compared to the table in the room I have. So I want to see if I can easier take it out. I have it laying here for when I'm showing it. Oh, okay. Again, maybe that's not possible because they pack it in one big bag inside. And that's not closed in the same way the other was. So. I would still need to open it. So the ice yarns this time, three backed it. Um, you can see, just a quick review, some of it. And inside these bags are the individual, ooh, sorry, ice, ice bags or um, bags as well. So I'm not really even sure where to start. All this yarn is just dropping out. So, and the first yarn I got was some acrylic cake yarn, 
which are these lovely yarns and it's with the number 76785 and I'm going to take one of them out so that you can see them easier. So these are like some small acrylic cakes um, that's coming with a nice shade of different colors. They are called Cakes Rainbow and it's a 100% premium acrylic and it's considered a fine yarn and they recommend a three millimeters knitting needle, which is probably like, yeah, I would say three millimeter crochet hook. It's it's indeed a very fine yarn, which is also a bit what I expected. Um, let's see if I can find more. It can be washed at 30 degrees. And in these cakes, you have um, 100 gram. And for each 100 grams, you get um, about 400 meters of yarn. Um, so yeah, that's about it. It's, it's these lovely olive, salmon. There's some white in here as well. And... It's lovely colors. I can imagine these are great for scarves, shawls, projects the like. Um, and it's it's soft. It's very, absolutely variable against the skin. Um, lovely, lovely cakes. So I'm gonna put that one away. Um, so there was four cakes in, in, in one parcel of that, um, which is like what, 1600 meters of yarn. Uh, so you can like take one big project or simply some smaller projects or whatever you would like. Um, then I got I got myself some sock yarn. I got the sock yarn because it was in sale or on, on one of their sales, um, and because. I'm trying to get into this concept of crochet and socks, which I'm still not sure if I'm a big fan of or not, but I like the concept of yarn. So this is, this is their sock yarn. It's actually not that scratchy for sock yarn. I would not consider it a soft sock yarn. It doesn't even smell that icy. So that's impressive. It's called the Sockenwolle Universe, um, which is basically the German word for sock wool. Um, this is 75% uh, superwash wool and 25% polyamide. And it's a fine yarn, so it's a sock weight, fingering weight. Uh, they classify it as a class one. I would probably say it's somewhere between one and two. Um, and for 50 grams, you get 210 meters of yarn. So they are very similar to, let's say, um, Mayflower's class one or the Fable yarn from Drops and the like kind of sock yarns. Um, this would be how it looks um, weight wise. And I would say it's probably like more like a two weight. Um, there are eight skeins in this pack and I think I got them for a really decent price for it. Um, I'm absolutely not going to need all eight skeins of yarn here, which means I will probably and very likely um, make some sock yarn giveaway video eventually, um, where some of these will be included. So if you would be interested in trying them as well, you would get the chance to do so. Um, so that's at least for a future a plan. Let's see what I else have. I have Plenty of things, that's the thing. Um. So I emptied, I emptied whatever they had on stock from this yarn because it looked absolutely amazing on the website. If it's going to be as equally amazing when I pack it out, I don't know. I do hope so, because I want to make some big project from this. Um, I want to make some variables for myself, like a shirt or something. Um, and I thought, 
better be safe than sorry. Um, so I got these five lots. I think I totally forgot to mention the number of the sock yarn, didn't I? I did. Sock yarn is 73993. So just a quick one. Back to this lovely yarn, which is 76550. It's a very lovely, I would say bronze yarn, bronze colored yarn or brown, brown or bronze. Um, each each um, wrap here contains um, two two skeins. Oh, this is nice. Um, they contain two skeins each, so therefore I got all five because there was only five left in stock. Um, because if they never run these yarns again, then I at least have for my whole project. And if I have too much, well, then I can always um, give it away. But oh my goodness. A little bit factory, but oh, this is really, really soft for a yarn that has these um, speckles in it. I'm extremely impressed about this yarn. I cannot wait to make a project with it. Um, it's called Sail Metallic, which is, well, something random because in the end, um, it's a sail yarn. So I don't even know what the original name for it is. I would say it's probably like a DK weight, three weight, DK weight, for those that's interested. That would be it. I would say this is like crochet hook, four and a half millimeters, probably four, four and a half. It's really, really, it's extremely soft for something that has metallic in it. Okay, so. Each of these skeins are 185 grams. For 185 grams, you get 350 meters of yarn. So I most definitely have enough yarn for a big project. Um, and it contains 90% acrylic and 10% what they call metallic lurex. I am seriously happy with this. What do you think about it? Like... The looks this is really really i can really really see a great piece of gamma with this like one thing is you see it on a website and that's what's difficult with internet shopping and then when you actually get it in your hand you are very very happy with your purchase oh my goodness i'm, I'm really really happy about this um i actually thought they were smaller um which is one of the reasons i got so many skeins um, I could probably even make like two projects if I wanted to. Um, I'm super happy, uh, really, really happy with this. Um, I have, so I have 10, I have 10 skeins of them. So I basically have like three and a half thousand meters of yarn, um, which is like a lot. Um, I won't run out. Um, I probably won't run out if I want to make many projects, but. I'm really, 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 really impressed by that yarn, especially for the price. I'm just going to quickly see if I can actually find the approximate price I paid for it for you guys, because obviously that's interesting as well. Okay, so for the cover yarn, I paid about, let's see, um, three euros a 55 per skein. Um, the sock yarn was one euro 49 and these are including freight prices because i trans have these insanely expensive um shipping fees though the yarn itself is really cheap so um the prices i mentioned here is when i calculated in the uh, shipping prices well per skein um and um the cake yarn here was three years 15 per cake that was pretty okay, actually. So this is another one where I decided to deplete the storage because it looked like it was going to be really cozy and fuzzy. Um, here is... 
a small yarn and it's called 77704 and it's a seal acrylic pink by name um i'm sure it's a better description than that though but um that's what it says it's an acrylic yarn which is a really thin yarn to work with i can see by this already see now we get that up in the donut ball here it's very soft and very this is the most factory smelling yarn as of yet I would definitely wash this before wearing it for sure um but very very wearable um i would absolutely wear this again against my skin it's very very fussy it's 50 gram and for the 50 grams you get 180 meters which makes this um a two, one or two weight yarn even like it's a very very thin one um i can imagine you can make some really really lovely shirts with this it's called, it's an acrylic pink and it's actually 50% nylon and 85% acrylic. Um, let's see if it has any further information. It can be washed at 30 degrees and yeah, that's about it actually. Um, but it's very, very soft. You could easily like, you could probably both hold this against another yarn, but you could also just um, make... Um, some shirts or scarves or something like that from it but it's really so this is ideal for something light wearable where you like some extra fuss um, so either double it up or simply just use them as as is um, and I think it's a great alternative for those that might be allergic to wool to still get this fussy feeling of wool without having the actual wool um and yeah so 180 meters by 10 is 1800 meters multiplied by three because i have three full pack of them so eight of each so that's um 24 skeins in total of this lovely pink for this lovely pink it was in sale so it was an insanely good price i got as well so i i only paid like 90 cents per skein for it it's crazy it's a great price um and i can imagine i might even um throw some of these in a giveaway sometime sometime out in the future um then i got some cake yarn um they had three cake yarns that i ordered the first one would be this one and i'm gonna take that one out of the wrapping and probably just keep it out of the wrapping as well um it has taken a bit of a beating during the shipping i think but this is how it looks like. So it's all the way black on the outer edge. It goes golden into uh, this lovely emerald green. I really like this. This is beautiful. And it's it's a very soft, um, soft yarn. Um, it looks to be uh, several stranded. I haven't even been able to find the center pull, but there isn't a center pull. But I'm sure there is something in the center um so i can't even just take out a strand and show it to you but i think these are like the hobby cakes where you have like four strands of yarn that you work with simultaneously um as i should answer all are they're made in turkey this can be washed at 30 degrees i'm trying to find it it's uh called cakes cotton fine and they recommend a three millimeter hook and it's considered a fine yarn I would most definitely consider this one a fine yarn too. Um, it's 250 grams. For 250 grams, you get a thousand meters. And it's 50% cotton and 50% acrylic. And can be washed at 30 degrees. Don't bleach, don't do anything else than just washing it in the machine. I think it's at least two or three strands you hold together. But because I can't really find the, the center, and I'm not going to pull it out because I don't want to ruin it um i i'm just assuming it's gonna be like um the sultan cakes not the deluxe but the regular sandal cakes you have from hubby where you have several strands that you work with together that's at least how it looks like to me um 
here, I would say it's probably, probably like for this could be a bit of a strand here, like that. Four strands, just like the hobby cakes. But very soft, very soft. Um, I'm definitely thinking shawls for this. They have more of these cakes. Um, with shipping, this was the most expensive purchase I made um, based per item. And this one for itself, plus the shipping, I paid 11 euros 70 for it, which is still like the same price as when you get the hobby salt and cakes on sale, basically. So, and this wasn't even on sale. So that's how we look at it. Um, I have two left, two cakes left, and then we are kind of done. And one of them, they're both Angora cakes, and this would be the first. There are two cakes in a parcel. And I'm just gonna take out one. So you can see. They need a little bit of, they are, you can feel that they have been um, vacuumed. Smells factory. Um, that will be an Angora cake here. It's um, says Angora cakes. I totally forgot to give you the number, which is here six one three eight zero. And in these cakes, this is actually quite impressive. You get um, two hundred grams, gives you eleven 1 hundred meters. So again, we are talking about a fine weight yarn and they recommend um, three millimeter hook. I would probably say that's probably, that's probably pretty close to, it's very fussy as you can see. Let's see, I can get it back here. Yeah. Three, three and a half millimeter hook, maybe, yeah, maybe three and a half. It's fussy, as you can see. And that's due to the type of yarn content um it's this is the i'm not sure if it even says here gold gold shades maybe it's gold shades gold brown salmon um and the content of yarn is 20 percent of angora 20 percent wool and 60 percent acrylics it's it's soft it's scaffable. Um, I could wear it against my skin, I think. I'm not sure, like I could wear it probably as a scarf, but I'm not sure if I would wear it against my full body as a full sweater though. Um, but I am also a bit more sensitive towards wool, like it really needs to be non-scratchy or I will not wear it against my skin or I will have like a basic like this one underneath. Um, so yeah, that's two of them. And exact same specs, I also got it in blue. So the prices are basically also similar. Um, so the only difference here is, is basically just the price. So yarn content, yardage, everything is the same. This blue I love. Look at this. And here they actually have sort of center pole. Um, just to clarify, again, fine weight arm. Lovely, lovely. It's quite fussy. So, most definitely, yeah, factory. Most definitely some sort of scarf or sweater or whatever. It's quite nice. Um, I'm happy. That was my yarn haul for this time, guys. Um, lighter blue goes into a darker blue and goes back into a lighter blue. I had the idea when I looked at the website that the very, because it's difficult to see here because you have cardboard, uh, but it goes into like a bit darker again here. I was wondering if it was the same as in the center, but looking at it here, I'm not 100% sure to be honest. Um, again, plenty of yarn. Looking forward to share with you guys what I make from it. And also looking forward to maybe give some of it away. I'm gonna wrap it up and say thank you very much 
for watching this video. I hope very much that you enjoyed this yarn haul. Um, and I have to say, this one still warms my heart. Happy with this. I'm actually happy with all of this. Um, I am really happy with this yarn haul. Yeah, it was a good one. It was a pleasure sharing my yarn with you guys. Um, I really wish that um, you have a great crafty week ahead. I hope, if you haven't done it yet, that you do hit that subscribe button so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Um, especially with you have to hit the little bell down there to get notified. The subscribe button is just to, to support my channel. Give the video a like if you liked it. Um, feel free to comment down below on any of the yarns uh, if you want to know more about them or um, or just if you have something positive to say. Um, I'm also happy to to hear you if you think there is a yarn from ICE that you want to know more about or that you want me to try or that you just want me to to test purchase because you want to know my opinion of it since I do um, apparently regularly shop by ICE. So um, let me know if I can help you in that kind of way. Um, and yeah, um, I think that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, lots of more good things are to come here on this channel. So keep subscribed and stay tuned. And until we see each other next time, I wish you a great week. Take care. Bye.